Hi, people! What's up, 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 It is Sandra here, and I am back again with another video. You guys know how we're doing it, the new norm right now. So, today's video, Kendrick Lamar <laughs> leaks. Did he leak? He didn't leak it. He put it out there. Kendrick Lamar is not hiding, okay? He's not trying to be shaded from his activities when it comes to drink. I feel like he is being very obvious so kendrick lamar obviously puts out a video of drake <laughs> bending for Didi. kendrick got the tea <laughs> oh my god this is about to be spicy because i just got into a video of um, kendrick lamar and drake you know dissing themselves and all of that and that video was it was so spicy like i couldn't handle it to be honest but i did handle it and i'm back for another but this right now because Didi's case is like really hot right now and it's it's, it's such a mind-blowing case like i really like it's it's insane and you know drake being like drake's name being drake being allegedly associated with this case i'm not so shocked allegedly please don't get me wrong allegedly being associated with this case didn't come as a surprise to me and i'm just like let's see what's up here let's see what they have for us okay so that's what we're gonna be getting into today i would really love for y'all to see this video through me so please just stick around from the very start to the very end okay so yeah but this being said people let's hop right into the video okay so i'm ready and um don't hold your breaths and let's just get right into this video when did he smack drake in 2014 at a club in Miami. I don't think Drake really ever got over that. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We not, Drake is my friend. So Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been going at it for a while, but this week, Kendrick turned up the heat with his track Euphoria, which is basically a lyrical beatdown aimed straight at Drake's character. Yeah. Seriously, every line in that track is pure gold, and I don't even see how Drake can respond to this. But let's zoom in on one particular jab that's got everyone talking. Kendrick's mention of Diddy's infamous slap on Drake back in 2014. So the official story was that oh, Diddy slapped I'm Drake over some song, song disagreement, but the streets are now buzzing with a different tale. According to the grapevine, the real reason reason behind Diddy's slap might have been a bit more personal. Rumor has it that Diddy yeah. wasn't too thrilled about Drake dissing his rumored boy toy Meek Mill during their well-publicized feud. Allegedly, Diddy had a soft spot for Meek, and Drake's disses didn't sit well with him. But wait, there's more. Some insiders are whispering that this whole ordeal wasn't just about music. It was allegedly a full-blown love triangle, and Kendrick's not yeah. so subtle hint in euphoria about Drake swinging for the other team has tongues wagging even more. So what exactly did Kendrick's spill about Drake and Diddy's relationship. And was that slap really a lover's quarrel? Let's break it down. So let's hmm. begin with the timeline of Drake and Diddy's falling out because rumors are now going around that these two were more than friends at one point and allegedly that's the reason Drake doesn't even want to touch the topic of Diddy in public anymore. Let's take it back to December 2014 when Twitter went wild with unexpected gossip courtesy of Charlemagne the God and DJ Sam Sneak. They spilled the beans that Drake and Diddy got into a brawl at Club Live in Miami during DJ Khaled's birthday bash. And according to Charlemagne, Diddy either slapped or punched Drake. Although there was no footage of this, based on people that I've spoken to close to the situation, uh, Diddy really did punch Drake in the face. Oh, I got that call four o'clock in the morning. Right. I was laying in my bed and, and, and my phone kept ringing. I'm like, why did my phone keep ringing at four o'clock in the morning? So I go to look at my phone. And I, it's my dude. Like, my dude. And they ain't, you know, he ain't no just random guy in the club this is somebody yeah. that everybody knows right he's like boy you wouldn't just believe what happened i'm like what Duh, did he just slap drake I'm like what so it happened i heard a slap it happened so, and he denied it scenes, it did like, happen i mean behind the behind behind club live I said, like at the, at the back entrance back door I'm like, get the oh my f God. You call, you, you. But I knew it was real because it was 4 o'clock in the morning. But you know, everybody know I'd be up because I got to, you know, go to the breakfast club in the morning. But 
Lo and behold, it turned out that it was, it was true. As for Sneak, he claimed uh, that Drake ended hospital. up in the hospital with a dislocated shoulder, what? which TMZ later confirmed. But despite rumors flying around it being over Cassie, Sneak insisted that that wasn't the case. Now jump ahead to December 2010, 2014, and suddenly there's footage popping up everywhere of Diddy throwing shade at Drake, accusing him of stealing the beat for the hit track, Zero to 100. TMZ obtained video of Diddy performing at a show, and he was heard telling the crowd, I I gave this ish to this mm, and this mm stole the ish before he played zero to 100. I'm gonna play this next beat. I gave this to this stole this from me. Play that. He actually said it. I love that there's their evidence all the time. Why? That's Drake's hit song Zero to 100. And that's Diddy at a concert back in June saying it was stolen. Now here's the kicker. Diddy claimed he handed the production over to Drake, yet he also accused Drake of swiping the beat. Anyway, things escalated to a physical showdown between Drake and Diddy over this drama, supposedly leaving Drake with a banged up shoulder. By the way, Zero to 100 ended up scoring a Grammy nomination for Best Rap Performance. So you can imagine how that might have stirred the pot even more. Now, now at first, both Diddy and Drake stayed silent on social media, but then Drake hopped on Instagram to share a photo of himself in a robe with the caption, they're either talking ish about you or stealing the ish you're talking. Either way, the name been popping. But then this photo surfaced of Drake seemingly sporting a black eye, and some sources claimed that this hmm. was Diddy's handiwork. Meanwhile, Rap-A-Lot CEO Jay Prince decided to hop into the conversation to have Drake's back, and he dropped this bizarre diss track directed at Keep Diddy, your hands off Drake or else. Line by putting his hands on Drake because Drake is family. And the weak shit from Puffy and Shug. Feeling like he can put his hands on my family, open the doors for his family to be touched. You reap what you sow. But here's the twist. Fast forward to May 2015, and TMZ drops a bombshell. They report that Drake and Diddy buried the hatchet with a phone call. According to TMZ, the two had a heart-to-heart -heart and decided to squash their beef behind closed doors. Apparently, they figured out they'd be crossing paths at a bunch of the same events over the summer, and they didn't want things to get awkward. But Drake and Diddy neither confirmed nor denied this report. Finally, on August 17th, 2015, Diddy addressed the drama for the first time during his Breakfast Club appearance. And while he claimed he never put his hands on Drake, fans thought Diddy's body language was telling a different story. You know, historically, we've heard about you putting hands on people. Mm -hmm. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Mm -hmm. Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake mm -hmm. is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We not... Drake is my friend. What happened to the zero to <laughs> that was a total rumor. Yeah, what happened to the beat, the zero to hundred? They said that was your record at first. Was there any truth to that? There's a young dude beside him. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a the young um, guy beside him. I don't know. His eyes a, just a record. The way he's um, looking at him, you know, was my record. And then you know, there somehow that became you know just a, a misunderstanding because we was working with the same producers. Honestly, it was a misunderstanding. Honestly, um, Drake is actually <laughs> my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as a lot of, as far as songwriting and albums. But then Diddy brought up Meek Mill, who was beefing with Drake at the time. And in hindsight, fans are wondering if Diddy slapping Drake had something to do with Drake dissing Meek. It's been like that for a couple of years. Meek is my boy and you know, at the end of the day, when it comes, um, like, you know, when it comes to the situation, you know, it's, it's all about the lyrics and everything. But it wasn't, it wasn't anything that, um, that was really that big of a deal. Now fast forward about a year later, and in June 2016, Drake drops 4 p.m. in Calabasas, seemingly referring to that altercation from 2014 and taking shots at Diddy. For instance, when Drake mentions Diddy's take that, take that line, certain is just too wild to reconcile. Take that, take that. No love in their heart, yeah. so they fake that. DiCaprio level the way they play that. Damn, and what is that? What and is that? Also a nod to Diddy's debut album, No Way Out, where Drake mimics Diddy's laugh from Can't Nobody Hold Me Down. Even had the OG trying to press me me. Ha 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 ha. No way out because I'm already no way out. But despite me. these direct <laughs> shots, Diddy decided to stay silent and not respond. And then on August 23rd, 2016, Diddy made a surprise appearance at Drake's Summer 16 concert in Greensboro, North Carolina. But here's the catch he decided to chill in the back instead of chilling in the VIP section. And although Diddy looked like he was having a good time, there aren't any photos of him with Drake during the show. Some folks saw this as a sign that everything was cool between them, but it's tough to say for sure. Now, skip ahead a few days and something 
something unexpected goes down. At the 2016 VMAs, Diddy steps up to present the award for Best Hip Hop Video. But when Drake is announced as the winner for the track Hotline Bling and doesn't show up, Diddy grabs it for him. He says Drake's stuck in traffic and invites him to swing by and grab the moon man from his place. So Twitter immediately goes into overdrive, dredging up the past between Drake and Diddy, and the jokes start flying. Someone said, Diddy definitely almost slipped up and let his true thoughts slip out just now. And another user added, come get this, you then what Puff really wanted to say. Now, despite the confusion over the VMA incident and those lingering questions about yeah. the 4PM and Calabasas lyrics, reports start circulating that Drake and Diddy have actually been tight for quite some time. Drake even hooked Diddy up with tickets to the Summer 16 tour, and at this point, it seemed like the drama was finally over. Well, maybe it was over for a minute, but here comes Drake's self-proclaimed hater Kendrick Lamar with some juicy gossip. <laughs> and suddenly, Diddy and Drake's Self drama is me. making headlines again. So in his brutal new diss track directed at Drake, Euphoria, there's this line that references Diddy slapping Drake back in 2014. And Kendrick raps, you gonna make an end, bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubb's really crashing something. By the way, Chubb's is Diddy's longtime bodyguard and friend. And Drake often brags in songs about how Chubb's will do it for him. But now Kendrick's throwing shade, mm. wondering if all that tough talk about Chubb's was just for show. Because Drake and his crew apparently did nothing when Diddy slapped Drake in a packed club. But Kendrick wasn't done yet. There's also this line where Kendrick insinuates that Drake's real competition is women because he bats for the other team. Kendrick raps, when I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Now, there's some wild speculation swirling around about these lines, and some people are going out on a limb and suggesting that Kendrick's decision to bring up Diddy Slap right after hinting that Drake might be into guys is no coincidence. They're theorizing that Drake, Diddy, and Meek might have had more than just a friendship back in the day. One fan said, I believe the reason Drake got slapped by Diddy was because the song Drake did, Zero to 100, was about Meek Mills, which was Diddy's little boy toy at the time. And another one added, hmm. Sounds like a lover's quarrel to me. We already know how the champagne poppy gets down. Allegedly. But what's your take on this whole mess surrounding Drake and Kendrick's new diss track? And what do you think Diddy slapping Drake was really about? Let me know in the comments and then check out this next video. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Beyond me. <laughs> okay, people. That was... That was crazy, okay? That was super crazy. Like, I am not shocked that Drake is somehow is somehow associated with Diddy and he, he's like, whoo! It's like everyone is involved in everyone's business because how is McMill in this? Like, it's so wild. To be honest, like, the way I'm seeing it is like I've been living in under a rock for a long time and then i'm coming out and i'm coming out like hard like i'm coming to things that are like unbelievable so at this point i shouldn't even hold my breath because i feel like when there are like controversial topics and issues like this nobody is above being exempted because everybody is like it's like when you get into like the spotlight when you are in that limelight it's like you're just i don't know i don't know if fame or money just makes them act alike because there's nothing too wild for any of them to do. Whoa. But like they didn't really lie in our faces. Because like I was looking at the the the, the young man beside him, right? I don't know if you guys noticed that. The young there's a young man beside Didi um when he was at the morning tea interview whatever it's called and when they asked that question like and you know the way the interviewer asked the question he wasn't asking if he put hands on drake he was like why did you put hands on drake i actually love the way um the interview was very straightforward um with his questions he's like why did you put hands on drake and he's like i didn't put hands on drake and then the young man beside him looks at him in a very I don't know, in a very concerning way, I feel like that look just meant a lot. You know, the way he just, you know, smiled and just looked, I don't know if you guys saw it, but do go check it out. Like, did he really lie? Like, I, I, I try to see the good in people, to be honest, and it's always so shocking that people lie. Like, you lie through your teeth, like, you lie to people, and you don't even flinch. Like, I mean, though his response was a bit, I mean, I feel like it, it took him 
it took him aback a bit though i don't know why because obviously before they come up um on these interviews they do have a rundown of the questions that the government asks and obviously he must have allowed that question maybe he wanted to um actually talk about that issue and just try to um defend himself and just remove himself from the situation but the response like the way he was like um i don't want to do nothing with drake i'm like you know <laughs> i was just like what is going on but anyways this was super spicy as you know as already i already expected it to be um all my, like all the best to them to be honest like all the best to all this showbiz rappers like it's it's a dark world to be honest like when you really get into it and you know that what we know may seem super crazy but it's not everything like we cannot know everything to be honest and there's only so much that people can leak and i'm just like what are like the worst crazy things that will be going on that you know we are not aware of scary anyways thank you all so much for joining me today i really hope you guys had such a lit time because i did um uh, i want to know what y'all think about this please do share your, your thoughts and your opinions down in the comment box because this topic is hard okay i'm really gonna appreciate that but um pause the very next one let us keep on staying safe and healthy and hopefully we do get to see back here with another video so yeah bye people